tip number two to reading a, a recipe like a chef is I always get this question, but how long do I cook it for? Okay, and it's understandable. Okay, the only thing that's gonna, the only thing that can help you understand how long something's gonna take is experience. And most of the time when you're creating a recipe, it's because you've never created this recipe before or this dish before. So it's gonna be all new to you, right? But what you can do is try to look through the recipe and find doneness indicators, okay? Doneness indicators. Whenever students come to me and they always ask me, chef, how long do I need to cook this chicken? My first answer is always until it's done, right? Until it's done. But you can find some really cool indicators throughout your recipe if you're looking at it. A great example would be bake for 20 minutes or until it is golden brown, right? By using your senses and seeing certain indicators like smell and taste and touch, okay, and color, um, by seeing those doneness indicators, it can really give you an, uh, a good sense of when that dish is gonna be prepared and ready to go. Okay, and of course, whenever you're cooking proteins, the best way to get the desired dentist that you want and make sure that it is that way is to use um, a thermometer. Okay, and you can get them at any store. They're relatively cheap these days. Make sure it's nice and calibrated, and that's gonna be the best way to understand um, how long you're actually gonna cook a recipe for. Because most of the times when you have a recipe, it has a time and um, you know, a, a total time and a prep time. Those are all estimates, okay? You, um, and, and of course, there's a bunch of variables that can go in to how long a dish can take, okay? It can go from elevation, the humidity, um, there's uh, what oven you have compared to what oven they were using when they created the recipe, okay? There's so many different variables and it just takes a little bit of practice and experience, okay? But the only way to really be sure that your dish is done is of course use a thermometer or another way is to use those doneness indicators that a good recipe should have for you. So be sure to look for those doneness indicators.